Welcome back to my channel, everybody. In today's video, I got a couple packages that I referenced in my video yesterday that I needed to open and show you guys from a subscriber. Well, one's from a subscriber, and the other one is just some cards that I purchased off of a fire sale on Facebook. I mean, there's plenty of those Facebook groups, buy, sell, trade, baseball cards, groups you could join. And uh, one was having a fire sale of some cards that I picked up. And uh, Now, normally, I wouldn't have had it the envelope already cut open, but kind of had some extenuating circumstances on this one. The uh, seller had realized that uh, one of the cards that I had purchased was not, well, he still had it at his house. And so he's like, hey, uh, I had four, There, it's a Bobby Wood Jr. First Bowman Chrome. I had four Bobby Wood Jr. First Bowman Chromes in my sale, and for some reason, one of them is still in my stack. So um, <laughs> he sent a message to all of us who bought one of the Bowman Chrome, Bobby, Bobby Wood Jr. said, hey, if you didn't get it, let me know because someone's missing theirs, and it was me. I was the one who was missing it. So uh, there was a Bobby Wood Jr. Bowman Chrome supposed to be in here, but it's on its way, and uh, the seller contacted me super quickly, and he shipped off the card that he was uh, unable or forgot to send me the first time. So that one should be in there. I think I paid $8 for that one. And then I got some of these Bowman Scouts Top 100. I'm not really, like, actively pursuing to get all of these cards, but just anytime I see some of them that I don't have yet, I just, you know, go ahead and grab them if they're at a good price. So it's not like a big major project, but something that is um, just something that I am kind of slowly working on. Nothing big time. Uh, he had a couple of these, Jordan Groshans, who is one of the better prospects in the minor leagues for the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, granted, they've got Boba Shett, they've got Kevin Biggio, they've got Vladimir Guerrero Jr., they've got all sorts of young talent, but you can see he was picked 12th overall in 2018 and uh, has a pretty good um, ceiling, I believe, as a prospect. And so I picked up the one Bowman Chrome. And whoa, those are stuck together. You can see the, the residue there from some tape that someone had wrapped it in. Uh, the top loader, anyway. And then the two ba or Bowman paper cards, the base paper cards of Jordan Groshans, his first Bowman Chrome. And so he's a guy to kind of keep an eye out on. I don't know how close he is to the major leagues. Uh, or if, you know, he'll kind of be blocked by some of the prospects in Toronto's organization already. But he's definitely a guy, prospect-wise, that I'm keeping my eye out on um, in the Toronto organization. So uh, hopefully that Bobby Witt Jr. card will show up here in the mail in a couple days, and I'll be able to add that to this little stack. And then this giant box here is sent by one of my most loyal subscribers, Kevin McLeod. Kevin is the guy who um, passed the book the wax pack book that i did the book review of earlier this week he's the guy out there in uh, southern california who sent that to me and now i am going to send it on i think i decided i sent an email today to Haas of cards i don't know if you guys i'm sure a lot of you watch his channel and are sub to Haas of cards he is uh he's been doing uh, videos longer than i have and he has a a bigger and to be honest a better channel than i do and uh, he just seems like a real genuine guy, and he's been a big supporter of my channel from a long, long time ago, even when I had probably less than 100 or less than 50 subscribers, and he was a big-time guy. Um, and so as soon as he put a comment in my video book review that he would be interested in it, um, I just really, it really stood out or just kind of clicked that I feel like he is probably the guy that I want to send it to if he still wants it. Um, he's kind of been a person that I've looked up to as a... Um, as a person making videos here that I, I kind of like what he does and I've tried to model some of the things that I do after what I've seen in his videos because he's just a real, a real uh, quality, quality dude I, I feel like. So once again, packaged extremely well. Look at that. That's like professionally packaged by Kevin. Let's see what we have in here. He's got a note. Uh, just a few 2020 updates and a few other things for you. I have some of the rookie cards from the 2020 set set aside. Let me know if you need any of them. Um, thank you for the package you sent me. Remember, I sent all those Chipper Jones cards and some of those Southern California cards uh, from the last baseball card show to him. He says, please let me know if you need anything. And there it is from Kevin. So let's see what we got in here, guys. Once again, super amazing packaging. This is like top of the line packaging, guys. I mean, this is professionally done. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. I got a little 1995 collector series, the complete 16 player set from Post Serial, maybe. Oh, these are pretty cool. I've never seen these before. 
Um, they are little foldable cards here. You can see Piazza. Um, oh, it's got like a big action photo on one side. We got Albert Bell. No logos on these. You can tell this is in the day um, back when no logos on any of these. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Let me get it out of the glare. Lenny Dykstra. Just go through there. Will the Thrill and with his Texas Rangers uniform. We got Wade Boggs, uh, 3,000 hits. We're Hall of Famer. Speaking of Hall of Famers, Jeff Bagwell, Greg Maddox. These are some of the biggest stars. There's a King Griffey Jr. There's a cool one. Uh, Robbie Alomar. Like, this is like the class of the 90s, right? Rob, or Kirby Puckett, Tony Gwynn, Cal Ripken Jr. This is like, you know, every legend of the game. Matt Williams, who kind of had, had his chance at breaking the home run record. Um, cut short by that strike in the strike year and then ended it off with Barry Bonds. So that's really awesome, Kevin. Thank you so much. I I uh, have never seen those cards before, so that's really neat. And they were in great shape. You could, uh, you know, set it up as your own little foldable thing there. And so not really sure where he picked it up, but that's pretty neat. And then it looks like we have a lunch sack, a paper sack of from 2020 Top Texas. I think he said he opened a, like a jumbo box or I don't know, a, a hobby box or something and just had some of the cards that he sent to me. Oh, we got a few Royals in here. There's a Matt Chapman. That's from Bowman Platinum from this year. That one's nice. And then uh, we've got just a lot of just base cards here. I think he, oh, we got a very, oh, active leaders here of Green Key. I'm not going to go through every card here, but uh, you can see that um, he sent me quite a few cards here. I think he was... Um, mentioning in one of his emails like hey if you're trying to put together the set because he knows that like I've been trying to put the last few sets together by hand of like top series one from this year top series two I think I'm close but I don't have that one all the way finished um last year's 2019 series one uh I, I completed that by hand Bowman this year's Bowman um I I had that completed by hand so you can see we've got like a lot of just the base cards I uh, don't really see anything too intense as far as rookies or anything like that but for someone who's a set builder if you yourself are looking to uh, put together a complete set of tops update and you need any cards just shoot me a message leave a comment in this video and i'll be more than happy to send some of these to you if you're looking for um, certain cards trying to put together your set or maybe you just you know have a real big interest in a certain player who may not be like the biggest name, like Chris Iannetta. Maybe you know you're the world's biggest Chris Iannetta fan, or maybe you just collect uh, players from a certain team. So I think I'm actually pretty close myself to completing the complete set of Tops Update. That's not true. I actually have completed the set of Tops Update, so I don't really think I'm going to need to keep too many of these. So I'm not really going to have um, a lot of need to hang on to a lot of these. You can see we've already got a couple doubles in here. We've seen Yoshi Hirano a couple times. So I'm not going to go through every single one, but you can see we've got all this Tops update from 2020. I'm almost done at the end of the bag. That is the end of the end of the paper sack there. You can see we've got all this Tops update still. You've seen Jesus Aguilar a few times. Hunter Renfro, he's popped up a few times. So there's David Price. There are a few rookies in there maybe. I think I just Maybe saw a rookie, oh, maybe not. So if you are a person who's interested in any of these uh, kind of more common cards from Topps Update, whether you're putting together a set, whether it's the complete set, a team set, um, just whatever, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll be more than happy to <clears throat> try to hook you up with some of those cards. So thanks again to my buddy Kevin, probably one of my most loyal subscribers uh, that I've had for a long time, ever since he won one of my giveaways. And the, the Collector Series cards are awesome. I'm gonna put those in my collection and uh, seal that little thing there and uh, and keep it nice and safe. Those are pretty neat. And then uh, also the Facebook group that I joined. Hopefully I'll get that Bobby Witt Jr. First Woman Chrome coming in the mail in the next couple days. So thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Hope you had a great Friday, and I hope you have an even better weekend. So I'll catch you in another video. Have a good one out there, everybody.